If you want to make soap but don't know how, I can help you. I'm Kathy Sagun. I'm a chemist by trade and soap making is my creative outlet. I've been making soap since 1993. I decided to share my soap making tips and tricks in the hopes of helping others make their own soaps. Today, let's discuss about the 10 must-have soap making tools and equipment. If you want to make soap at home, it's a good idea to collect all the necessary soap making tools and equipment. A few essentials are listed here, and remember that there's always room for those extra bits! Number 1. Kitchen Scale Kitchen scale is an important tool for soap making. It doesn't have to be expensive and you can find it at any local store. However, if your ingredients are not measured by weight, say by volume, your soap could end up being light heavy or too oily, so make sure to buy a scale. Number 2. Thermometer For a perfect bar of soap, it's important to keep the lye solution and oils at almost the same temperatures. Some people like their solutions at room temperature, while others prefer as high as 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. I actually prefer room temperature soaping. To make sure that you have an accurate reading on your thermometer during soap making, I recommend using one that is infrared in order to get the readings as soon as possible. Number 3. Stick Blender A stick blender or immersion blender is a must for soap makers. Traditional steering can take hours to complete, but an immersion blender cuts the time down significantly and makes mixing much easier. Inexpensive models from your local store are usually sufficient if you just want to give it a try before investing in one that may be more durable. Polypropylene plastic containers and mixing bowls Mixing lye is a dangerous task if you don't do it properly. For this reason, you should not use glass containers to mix lye and water together because the glass is prone to breaking when exposed to such high heat. Instead of using an unsafe container like that, always weigh out pure alkali in small disposable cups or designated containers clearly marked with lye before mixing up. Number 5. Glass containers for fragrance oil or essential oil. Glass containers are suitable for essential oils and fragrance oil. If you put it in a plastic container, the plastic will melt. Number 6. Heavy duty plastic or silicon spoon and spatulas. If you're looking for the perfect spoon or spatula to steer your soap butter, then look no further. You can find all sorts of options in the kitchenware section of your local stores. Look for heavy duty plastic, stainless or silicon spoons and spatulas that are durable enough so they will last a long time. Number 7. Personal Protective Equipment or PPE In order to prevent your eyes from being exposed, it's important to wear safety glasses or goggles that are meant for working with chemicals. Regular eye protection is not sufficient enough and may cause more harm than good. Use a pair of disposable latex or nitrile gloves for the hands. The same goes for protecting the rest of your body. An apron, a long sleeve, or a lab coat. For the feet, wear closed shoes. 
No slippers, please! Number 8. Soap molds. Now that you have the basics down, it's time to get creative. Line sturdy shoe boxes with parchment paper or visit your local store's baking section where there are plenty of silicone dope pans available. You can use a milk or water carton as an alternative mold for soap making if you're in need of one right now. Remember to watch my video on improvised soap mold. I'll put the link in the description box below. Number 9. Soap Cutter For professional bar soap makers, nothing is more essential than a steel wire soap cutter. It ensures that every bar has the perfect size and shape for consistency and efficiency. But, no need to invest in one now. A straight-edge kitchen knife can also do the job. Number 10. Slow cooker or crock pot Slow cooker is great for heating up your oils when making cold process soap. You can also use it in making hot process soap and in rebatching too. Now let's have a recap and this will be your checklist. Number 1. Kitchen scale Number 2. Thermometer 3. Stick blender 4. Plastic container 5. Glass container 6. Spatula 7. PPE Number 8. Soap mold 9. Soap cutter and 10. Slow cooker Remember that you don't need to purchase expensive soap making tools and equipment. Use what you have at home or just improvise. Instead, save your money to buy soap making supplies. I hope that you learned something from me today and thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm Kathy the Clumsy Soaper. Happy, happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!